One time I looked at myself in the mirror and I just cried. I cried because it wasn't me. It was cold, it was raining. I didn't have nowhere to turn. I was on the verge of attempting suicide. Well, I had everybody around me always thinking, oh, she's crazy, you know, and so I just, I felt worthless. My name is Dusty Strait, and I'm currently a Bridge to Life graduate. When I came in through the doors like so many people, I just didn't feel like I was worth anything. And then the people that are here are so loving and caring with the, the love of God that it pours out into everybody else. So God is, is obviously moving in the City Rescue Mission. The, the Spirit of the Lord is, is touching the people that come through the doors. It's changing their lives. All right, so Tyrone, tell me a little bit about yourself. My father remarried, and there was a lot of physical abuse, and, and, and that's when uh, I started acting out, you know, um, get in trouble in school, and, uh, and got in the military, and, and, and that's when my drinking started. I was addicted to crack cocaine. I've been using for over 27 years. I have four kids. But as they were growing up, my mom took care of them. I was around them, but I didn't raise them. They thought I was their aunt. It hurt, it, it hurt me that I couldn't be there for them. From the ages of six to 10, I had a cousin that molested me. And then when I was 14, I was taken from a party. I was, um, I was beaten, I was raped. I never talked about it, so I just, I felt worthless. I was told I was worthless, so I felt worthless. Thanksgiving, 2016, and I was headed to Denver. I had been drinking a lot, and I was driving, and I must have blacked out, because I woke up like three days later in my car. It was cold, it was raining. I didn't have nowhere to turn. I was on the verge of attempting suicide. I was sleeping in my car. I was in a dark, dark place. One time I looked at myself in the mirror and I just cried. I cried because it wasn't me. And then a ray of hope came, directing me toward the city rescue mission. And at that point, I still didn't have any hope. At that point, I just needed refuge from what I had been going through. In the meantime, I would go to chapel. And I think, you know, God was speaking out to me, telling me, hey, this is your time. This is your time. I went to the crisis center and they told me about the Bridge to Life program at the City Rescue Mission. I need that, I need to get closer to God. In my heart, I believe that being closer to God, He will show me and He will guide me. When I lost my apartment, a counselor told me about the City Rescue Mission. The first day when I got up here, um, I kind of freaked out and I, I called my daughter, because my daughter lives up here. I called her and I said, man, I said, you gotta come get me. And she said, Mom, I'm tired of taking care of you. I can't do it no more. I got my own family to take care of. So that was the best thing that she ever did for me. I was searching for something in my life. I knew that there was a void in my life. There was a hole, and I kept uh, trying to find it in the bottom. And, uh, you know, just being diligent and, and disciplined in, in studying the Word is, is filling that void. And without the British Life Program, I may have never come to that point. My kids has forgiven me. It took me a long time to forgive myself. A long time to forgive myself. Sometimes it gets hard. Some mornings I just don't feel like it. And I, but I know that it's something that I have to do because I know in my heart that's what's gonna keep me clean and sober. I know he's gonna be the one to do it. Cause I've tried me and I don't work too well. <laughs> I didn't work too well either without him in my life. Since I've been here is I've learned to forgive. And that's 
I was just getting ready to ask mm -hmm. you, so what do you think is the biggest thing that you've learned here that this has helped you with? Forgiveness. <laughs> you've already Forgiveness. Me, so obviously... <laughs> forgiving them and then forgiving myself because of, you know, how right. my kids had to be brought up and everything. I, yeah, I thank God every day that I'm here. And it was God that brought me here, so I feel like I'm truly blessed. It's a wonderful, wonderful feeling whenever you actually can step out of this place and you feel like you're being a productive member of society again. It does feel good. It does. When I look in the mirror, I see the person that I am. I see what people like about me. I see a person. I see the real me. And I can share that with other people and hopefully change their lives. But I found out the more I worked on myself, the less medications that I was having to take, and now I take no medications anymore at all. Well, that is, that, that is <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. I like that. That is good. So God is moving in your life and helping yes, you out. Is. I want you to know that, that you are worth something, you know, in my eyes and to God's eyes, and don't ever let anybody discourage you on that, ever. I found out that it's not all about me, but I found out through this program, you know, that it's about giving. And that's what uh, keeps me humble and keeps me grounded. And, and this program is guiding me through those steps. They've done the most good aiding me in getting back to me, to the me that I, that I know I could be, you know, the me that I should be, the me that I'm supposed to be. I'm so glad that your whole thinking is completely different from before. And it, it inspires me a lot to, to keep moving forward onto the right path. And I just hope that, that everything you learned here will encourage you. you know? It's definitely, most definitely. You encourage me. And seeing guys like you and made it through the program, that's what gives them inf inspiration. You know, uh, pleasure meeting you, Dustin. I came to realize when I met all these people that we're all the same, you know, we, we're all looking for a place to belong and by the good grace of God, this, this place has changed every one of our lives, you know, the City Rescue Mission is a place of hope.